Hello everyone, welcome to another Java tutorial. Uh, just before we can start the programming, we've actually got to download something else called Eclipse. Now Eclipse is an IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment. So you can think of it uh, sort of like uh, a better version of Notepad, right? Because uh, unless you want to type out all the code in Notepad without any sort of assistance, it's better to have Eclipse that's going to help you organize your files and help you uh, give you hints on how to program and things like that. It's sort of like uh, having Dreamweaver for uh, making web pages. Okay, so this is for writing a program. We're going to do it in Eclipse. So let's download Eclipse. So just type download Eclipse in Google and then the first thing that comes up should be the link that we use. And so you go to the ellipse.org homepage and the first thing at the top where it says Eclipse standard, we're going to download that. Now if you're on Windows 64-bit, uh, download the 64-bit version. So whatever version of JDK that you downloaded in the last tutorial, uh, if you downloaded the 64-bit JDK, then you have to download the 64-bit of Eclipse, otherwise uh, it's not going to work. Okay, so download it and then um, just download. Uh, download from Columbia University so click that and then you should start downloading it okay and come back when you're done okay so after you have downloaded it you're going to extract it to a location of your choice so I'm just gonna put it in um, D drive called e in a folder called Eclipse and uh, just put it in there So if you have done the same thing I did, you'll find that in D drive you have an Eclipse folder and then inside that folder you have another Eclipse folder. Now that's not necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Eclipse folder inside the Eclipse folder and I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to go back up one level and then I'm going to paste it here. Control V to paste. And uh, Hopefully it has now replaced everything. So now uh, the folder is just D drive slash Eclipse. And then I have Eclipse.exe, which is the um, IDE that I'm going to run. So you can create a shortcut for that on your desktop or on your um, start, uh, on your toolbar down the bottom. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So now um, I'm going to run it. Okay, and then it says select a workspace. Now I'm just going to put all my Eclipse projects in my Eclipse folder. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to my D drive Eclipse folder, D drive Eclipse and I'm going to make a new folder inside Eclipse called projects and I'm just gonna save everything in that okay so just remember this folder because this is where all the programs that you write will go into so click OK and it's starting Eclipse so welcome to Eclipse uh, so we don't really need this window so let's close that welcome screen so those of you who have done my um, visual basic tutorials will find this part a bit easier so basically we're going to create a new project right because uh, it's similar to visual basic your whole program is like a project so if you go to file new Java project 
and then for the project name just type Java tutorial and you can see here that it's by default going into the D drive slash Eclipse slash projects folder now for the JRE Java runtime environment this is something that you would have downloaded as part of the JDK so uh, just pick Java SE 1.8 okay so now let's click next and we're not going to change any of these default settings at the moment uh, but feel free to look around uh, later on you will understand more about what they mean so just click finish and then you will see your project appearing on the left hand side and the first thing I want to point you guys to is the source folder so this inside this folder is where we store the source code for our project and what we're going to do is create our first Java class file now later on you'll get a better feeling of what class files are but basically all of our Java coding will be stored in classes so click new click class the name of our class will just be hello so type hello in there and leave everything else with the default settings and then what you want to click is where it says public static void main so you want to click that line and you will see why we do it in a second so click that line and click finish okay and what you can see here is on the left hand side in the src folder we have a default package and inside that package we have hello.java so this file here contains the source code where we type in the code for what we want the program to do now you can see here I have a class called hello and a class is basically a type of object okay and later on you we will work a lot more with classes but right now we just have one class and inside this class there is a method called main and basically all you have to know about this is that we are typing in inside this section what we want this program to do okay later on we will discuss what this code means but right now all we're gonna do is type in here what we want the program to do so we want the program to print something to the system so output a line a string to the system and what we're outputting is hello okay and at the end of each statement in Java we want to put in a semicolon okay so now if I run this code by clicking this button here run and click OK so what's happened is the IDE has compiled this source code for us into Java bytecode and the Java virtual machine has run the program and this is the output down the bottom here in the console okay it doesn't look like much but you have just succeeded in running your first Java program